Hey guys, this is going to be a very quick video showing you how to use Lightroom uh, to get Lightroom to support your Sony a6500 raw video files. As of today, and I apologize, I'm handholding my iPhone uh, as I record this. Um, here's the situation. You import a raw file, which is this ARW file here. And uh, you can see that when I go from here, I've got it selected and I go down to import and now Lightroom shows this error. It cannot be opened. It's not supported in this version of Lightroom and this is uh, December 6, 2016. So it's probably not going to be supported until a future version of Adobe that um, is released that supports this new uh, 6500. But there is a solution to allow you to continue using Lightroom until then. So here's how it works. First, you want to go and download EXIF tool. So you can see EXIF tool here. Uh, get it at this ad yep, get it from this address. Then what you want to do is after you've downloaded the tool, you place it in the same directory as your uh, raw file, right? So here's my raw file, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and open and run prompt. So I just type in P-R-O-M-P-T. Oh, there we go. Command prompt. And from there, I'm going to go to the directory of my image, which is in this case, uh, just my user directory and pictures. So I'm going to type in CD for change directory and then pictures with a uh, capital P, I, C, and actually you hit tab and it'll auto, auto complete. I hit enter, now I'm in the directory. Then the secret command you want to use is this. exiftool.exe space hyphen Sony mode, or sorry, Sony model ID, capital S, capital M, capital I, capital D, equals double quotes, ILCE hyphen 6300 and double quote space asterisk dot ARW. And what this is going to do is go through, and I apologize for the floppy, unsteady hands. Uh, what this is going to go do when you run this command is run through all of the files ending in dot ARW in this directory and change the Sony model ID. Uh, metadata value to ILCE hyphen 6300, which is going to allow Lightroom to open that file for you. So what I'm going to go do is I'll just hit, where is, there it is, enter, and here we go. File updated. Now we go back to our directory and we now see that there is, sorry, finger got in the way a new raw file that was just created you can see it was just created you know seconds ago and my original was renamed so that's cool right now what we can do is go back into lightroom and i go back to um, import so file and then import and then i can choose my directory here and now hey look it's there, sweet. And as you can see, .arw, and this is the file that was, uh, wait a minute. Well, this file was, I already have a duplicate of this, but this is the directory, that's it. That's the right file. Now you go in and you can import it. Well, it's not gonna import it because it's already there, but that's what you would do. Trust me, it works. Knock yourselves out. Enjoy Lightroom and your new A6500. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, I do have a little bit of camera content on the channel if you want to check it out. If you're into cars, specifically BMWs, M3, track driving, check out the channel. Subscribe some more. Uh, more subscribe some more. Like I can cons like, subscribe more. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> subscribe. Also check out rightfootdown.com. That's uh, another website related to automotive content that we constantly put new car stuff up. Anyway. Enjoy this video. Hope it was useful. Thanks for watching. See you.